Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is February 13th, 2016. We're in Bluffton and we're in Hampton Lake to see this beautiful new David Weekly home, the Blue Point model. It's located at 3 Lakewood Court. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, large loft upstairs, covered front and back porches, oversized two-car garage. It has 3,171 square feet and is listed today with Hampton Lake Realty at $588,990. I'm showing you this home as a buyer's agent. Let's walk through and see exactly what they have here. Talk a little bit about the community and about what it means to have a buyer's agent. Some of you may not be aware that in South Carolina you have a right to an agent to represent you and it just doesn't cost anything more. My pay, my commission is already in the price of every listed property, including this David Weekly home and new homes that David Weekly might build with us. Well, let's just take a quick look at the exterior and we see a traditional architecture, a low country architecture, but with the latest and greatest building materials. This is a hardy plank exterior, ladies and gentlemen. That's a concrete fiber board that is really the state of the art in residential construction today. Uh, the bugs don't eat it. It uh, doesn't rot. And of course it gets painted any number of colors. This has a uh, carriage style garage door here. There's two garage doors, the carriage style. We have vinyl uh, clad windows and we have country style shutters. Out here on the driveway we've got a River Rock Finish Concrete Drive. Just three steps up to our front porch. The entire first floor then being on slab, which means concrete platform, which is really greatly preferable to a crawl space. Let's go inside and take a closer look. Today is uh, open house day here in Hampton Lake, so we're likely to uh, see some people coming through the models and seeing what's happening. But the first thing that we notice, of course, is that the floor is wood and it has the rough hewn style that so many of you like today, sometimes called hand hewn. And the color is uh, very popular as well. Now this house is sold unfurnished. It's what's called stage, which means that David Weekly has brought in a decorator to place the furniture here and show you how it might look with your furniture. The big contemporary floor plan has the open kitchen with the single level island, which is really the way that the houses are being built today in what I would call a contemporary open floor plan. Uh, these, uh, these homes today generally do come with the granite countertops. In this case, the farm sink, single section farm sink, which is so popular. Swan neck faucet and the op all open to your living room. That's the covered back porch out there and our dining room with the tray ceiling. Lots of details in a David Weekly home architecturally very interesting and uh, very pleasing, at least to me. Be interested in your opinion, of course. These are upscale cabinets, and David Weekly Homes in general are upscale, by the way. In this case, we see some antique finish on it. Beautiful farm style pulls and handles. Sometimes that's called a glazing, an antique glazing. Subway tile, glass tile backsplash. And in this case, an electric range top with the downdraft exhaust. And also notice that in this kitchen too, you have 
the staggered tops. Uh, cabinets come either straight across, they come with or without crown molding. In this case, they're staggered with the crown molding. And notice also how the crown molding goes right around the room. In many homes, of course, this is an extra. This home is uh, sold as it is. Again, 588,990. Stainless steel appliances, the GE brand, and a big pantry here in the corner with the wire shelving. Beautiful kitchen. Lots of light, big windows, lots of light. Interior flat mullions. And looking across to the master bedroom at the back right of the house and across our living room back to the foyer. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the master bedroom through this little privacy jog. And here we are, corner location, recess ceiling, 52 inch ceiling fans, trio of windows here, and you have tall baseboards, wood wrapped windows, nothing like a new home ladies and gentlemen. And David Weekly does such a good job with their designs, attention to detail, high quality. And by the way, they are also a custom builder. So while they like to have these ready to occupy estate homes and showcase homes and so forth available for you, you may not want to wait to have the six or seven months it takes to build a new house. Well, they'll also build one for you on your lot. And in that case, of course, you would choose all your own colors and interior finishes. So we have a separate tub and shower over here with our frameless entry door. Beautiful floor to ceiling tile with the bench. Excellent finishes in this house. Big walk-in closet for him and for her. The size of a small bedroom in many other homes. We have tall paneled doors. And in this case, we've got the rubbed bronze egg shaped handles, the doorknobs. What a bathroom. What a bathroom. Our uh, water closet here with the window looking good. You have high flat ceilings throughout this house and actually every house in Hampton Lake requires a 10 foot high ceiling on the ground floor. Well, let's go see the rest of the first floor. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> Open house customer memo to David Weekly. They love it. <laughs> I like it. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a buyer's agent. I represent you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't represent David Weekly. I don't work for Hampton Lake Realty. I work for you. I work for you. I'm paid only at closing by the commission, which is already in the house. And that's only if you buy and only if you close. So really it's a no brainer to have a buyer's agent on your side, helping you with your questions, with information that you need. This is our second first floor bedroom. So many of you make that request. You want to have at least the master bedroom on the first floor, but gosh, if you could get another really good bedroom on the first floor, well, in this case, you have two primary bedrooms on the first floor. Notice this one has a private bathroom with the same quality that we see in the, we just saw in the primary that we were just at, granite countertop, tile floor, tile surround on the tile, on the tile, on the shower. Well, granted the master bedroom 
definitely was nicer, bigger and more luxurious than this one. But as far as a second bathroom goes, well, this is pretty darn nice. Country style cabinets with the beadboard pattern. Good size rooms, good size rooms indeed. Well, let's see what else we have. Let's go upstairs and take a quick look. That's where we'll find our third bedroom and our loft. We have oak treads. This is the big loft. Big loft with a quartet of windows across the back. Lots of light. Plenty big enough for anything up here. Home, gymnasium, ping pong, pool table, walk-in closet there, excuse me, walk-in attic, we'll take a look. This is the walk-in closet here. Let's go into this attic because it gives me an opportunity to talk about energy efficiency and also in general having a walk-in attic is uh, bit of a luxury feature. We don't talk too much about that, but walking into your attic is better than a pull-down stairway. It's better than a hatch where you bring a ladder out of the garage. Here you just walk right in. Now, if you can see that shiny board up there on the roof deck, that's what's called radiant board. And what that does is it keeps your attic cooler in the summertime and that allows your ceiling to be cooler and your, it takes then less energy to uh, cool your house, greater energy efficiency. Uh, this house has two heat pumps. These are what are called your air handlers, which uh, both move the air throughout the house and they're also your backup heating system. And you have two of them then, one for the first floor, one for the second floor. better than a zoning system is to have two separate machines. So definitely premium construction. The third bedroom on this side. On this side over here, we have this good sized bedroom with a pair of windows like so. Beautiful day here. And February. You know, we have semi-tropical climate here in uh, Bluffton, South Carolina. Beautiful place to live, ladies and gentlemen. My wife and I have, uh, we moved from Hilton Head Island where we lived for 36 years. It only took me 36 years to get over Hilton Head Island and we moved to Bluffton about four years ago. And we love it. We love it in Bluffton. Absolutely outstanding place to live. Oh, and then the third bathroom, right here. Tile floors, granite tops, undermount porcelain sink, beautiful bath hardware, framed mirror. This house has all of the interior features that so many of you want. And that's what you get in this Blue Point by David Weekly. It's for sale today. 388.9? Excuse me, 588.9.90? I can't sell it for 388? No. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I'll buy it for that. You will? I think a lot of people will buy it for 588 too. It's a beautiful house. So now you've seen the whole house, you still like it? Yes, I like the design a lot. Design a lot, I think so too. Um, no question, no question. This is the type of house that a lot of people are looking for. <laughs> okay, here's our uh, last look at the downstairs, the laundry room. Big, it's big. Granite top there and the wash bin. Nice feature to have in any laundry room. Stainless steel. And with a window looking out into the wooded area. Hampton Lake has beautiful woods. Cabinets. You know, many homes just have a wire shelf. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but cabinets where you have all your things. 
stored or better. We have a storage closet here on the hallway. And the wood floors are following us right along. Your half bath, so we have three and a half baths. Great interior finishes. We'll just take a peek into the garage. There's a lot of things being stored out there. But just to give you an idea of how it is oversized, notice you have about 10 feet between your doorway to the house and the garage itself. Two-car two garage, a finished garage with a automatic door opener. And then off to the left is your service yard. That's where your two heat pumps are located. And if you're wondering where the basement is, well, we don't have basements around here. <laughs> we don't have basements here in the low country of South Carolina. That's one of the things that I hear repeatedly is people are concerned about storage areas. Where will they put their items? Because there are no basements. And so we use our attics and we store in garages. And of course, when many people come to Hilton Head Island, they downsize. They uh, clean out their homes and simplify their lives and come down here and engage in the low country lifestyle, which often means retirement. And if it just means relocation, oftentimes it's just a slower pace in terms of the hustle and bustle and stresses that so many of us had when we used to live back north or out west down here in the southern low country. It's just a different type of life. It's one where we have outdoor living 12 months a year. And here in Hampton Lake, just to talk a little bit about this award-winning community, you have the 165-acre lake, of which seven miles is navigable. Uh, you have uh, just award-winning uh, amenities that everyone loves, including me. I never get tired of coming into Hampton Lake and showing homes in here. You have the restaurant. You have the out outdoor uh, resort-style pool with the Lazy River tributary. You have hard, true tennis courts. You have the playground, you have the adult pool, you have the fish tails center for the kids, the tackle box, the boathouse. You can rent a little fishing boat for $15 an hour or another party boat for just uh, $30 for two hours, $15 an hour. Uh, this is a great place to live, ladies and gentlemen, a fitness center, Fitness cent uh, Central, I forgot to mention that. One of the most beautiful spas of any community here in the South Carolina Low Country. Beautiful mix of clabbered and board and batten, exterior hardy plank, all of that siding, the edging, the soffit, the fascia, all of that that looks like wood, that's concrete, concrete fiberboard called hardy plank. Your foundation, look at the, the attention to detail here with this concrete work here with the seashells mixed in. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful house, The Blue Point by David Weekly here at Three Lakewood Court in Hampton Lake. Well, please call, let's talk. Let's talk about what your needs are. Let's work together to find the right home for you. It might be this one, which will probably be sold by the time that you respond to this video. But we can build one for you, and we can find another David Weekly home, perhaps that might be larger, might be smaller. It just depends. Let's get acquainted. Please call me. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty, and as in gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. 
And of course, Hampton Lake is a gated community with a 24-hour guarded security entrance. Uh, so much more to say. I mean, Hampton Lake has a campground. It has a dog park. It's impossible to cover everything in a short video like this, but I, I sure have enjoyed showing you this beautiful house here in Hampton Lake by David Weekly, The Blue Point. Uh, please call my cell number 843-684-2933. My email, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, thank you again. If you like this video, there's more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you by phone or email anytime soon. Uh, the longest time that a uh, buyer took in my career between initiation of a conversation about their interests to when they actually purchased has been 17 years. But please, don't be like that buyer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoyed showing you this house today. Look forward to hearing from you.